Hello and welcome back. I'm Harish and in this channel I talk about various ways in which you can build uh, pretty much anything from a website to an automation. And in this series we are looking at a tool called Typebot which lets you build conversational apps. And in the last video we have looked at how to build a basic app where you collect user information and then give access to your customers to a certain thing. It can be a PDF or a Zoom link or a specific private YouTube workshop that you have did. Any link that you can embed, right? And in this video we are going to see how to send this same information to a Google Sheet directly from Typebot. If you want this to be updated at an external place or a Google Sheet where your team is probably accessing that sheet and you want all the information for of your customers in one specific sheet, so you can do automations on the Google Sheet also. Right? Let's quickly edit our bot and see how to integrate Google Sheets into this bot. This is our previous bot. And first, let me rename this to basic bot so that we remember next time when we come back to this tool. And now let's see how to integrate this and send information to a Google Sheet, right? On the left, if you see the integration is already available and it is called Sheets and you'll have to just drag and drop this. I'm going to drag and drop this into the block that checks for, actually I'm going to drag and drop that to the last tool where we know that the user has entered this information for sure, right? And once you drop the Sheets, it'll ask you to configure. Once you click on configure, it'll ask you to select the Google account where you have to store, right? I'm going to select my default account or you can connect multiple accounts. What I'm going to do is select this and then it will ask me for the spreadsheet. What I'm going to do is just quickly create a spreadsheet where we can store this information. And once you are inside the spreadsheet, I'm going to create this as basic bot data. And in this, I'm going to name the columns, right? Uh, we are collecting name and email in as the information. And this is basic bot data. I'll just rename the sheet also just in case. Now let's go back to the bot and then search for spreadsheet. Let's do basic bot and it shows basic bot data as a sheet and it, now it should also show the specific sheet inside the workspace which is our basic bot data sheet now there are different operations that you can do for the google sheet integration which is insert update and also get data from the google sheet in our case it is insert a row every time so we'll do insert a row and then click on add value now you have to map the columns inside your google sheet to the data that you are sending from type bot so what we're going to do is just add value select the column we have two columns that we just created one is name we'll do add value and on the right side there is insert variable if you remember, we are storing the information in variables, right? And variables are used to store specific information, which can be used later on in the bot itself, right? In this case, if you click on it, you'll know the variable name, and then we need second one also. And here we select the second one and also select the second variable. If you have multiple columns, all you have to do is just click on, keep, keep on adding values. Now this is done. Now this should insert the values into that Google sheet once there is confirmed information in these two variables that the user has entered. Now we're going to just quickly publish the same bot and see if this works. Now it is published. We'll go back to the tab that we had opened last time. I'm going to refresh it and this should start the conversation again. And now we're going to say my name is HK and in the email we'll do HK at the domain.com. And if you don't enter a proper email, it will not work. Hopefully. Yes. See, email is invalid. We'll have to enter a proper email. So the validations are also in place. You don't have to worry about uh, validating. And now this should give you the thank you message. And now let's go back to the sheet and see if the data is here. As you can see, data has already been inserted here. And that's how you enter data from Typebot into Google Sheet. Now let's also quickly see how to probably update the email address if there is a change in the email address, right? Now to update, what we'll do is let's quickly drag and drop another sheet block right here. Select the same information, look for basic bot data, then select the right sheet and then for the operation what we'll do is update a row and we have to find the row based on the user's email and update his, his name that he enters in the conversation right sales to update is what we need to add now add value now we want to only update the name just to see how this works and i'm going to select the username only right now what this should do is insert first insert a new row and then update any cell that matches with the email that we give it right in this case hkdomain.com is one email. What we'll do is we'll enter a different email this time and see if it inserts and also updates, right? Now what I'm going to do is just quickly resize the window so that you can see how this works in real time, right? Now let us quickly go back publish, right? We are almost set with the operations. We've added insert row and also update a cell. Now once it is published, let us quickly refresh that bot. And once the bot is refreshed, let me enter the information again. Now I'm going to enter my full name here. To notice this one has hk so that we can see if this works in real time i'm going to send and then it'll ask me for an email i'm going to do harish at my actual email and click send now this gets entered right 
now what we'll do is let's enter hk domain.com and see how it works right now i'm going to refresh and hk should change to harish right because that is the name that i'm going to enter now and now i'm going to give the email as hk at domain.com see what happens we should have multiple rows that have the same data right so it has entered inserted because we also have an insert and it also has updated the existing information to the new name that we have shared right this is how you actually update specific information don't have insert just have update when you're updating i'm only showing it to you so that you understand the difference between insert and update now similarly you can also do get now what we'll do is to see the functionality of get what we will do here is once the user enters email we should, let's check if the data exists in the sheet so i'm going to drag and drop a new block here right and configure again same select account i'm going to do basic bot data and then the same sheet that we selected and now it should ask for operation now i, I want the user's name based on his email from the sheet right or we can do get the we can get the email based on the name right let's change this email name to something else so that we can get the data from the sheet this should be a unique value i'm only using name just as an example this should ideally be order id if you're fetching customers order details in the same conversation board that you're building but this one let's quickly see how to do this uh, using just the name now get data from sheet row to select how to select the row i want to select the row that has the name that i'm passing to the bot right now once this is done what cell do you need now if you want multiple cells you can add multiple cells here but since there is only one cell that we need which is the email column now i'm going to do cell to extract is the email that i want right you can do multiple ones but if you don't have multiple ones don't worry right now once you extract this it is asking you to store this in a variable so that you can display this back to the user right i'm going to store this in existing user email variable right you don't have to enter curly braces sorry i'm creating a new variable called existing email right and then that's it now this is set up what i'm going to do is if the username and email are empty i am going to remove this right click on the linking and link this to here and let's check if the value is there right now if the value is there let for the sake of this example i'm going to just print the email variable which is existing mail and if you don't know or if you forgot how to use variables at any point you can just click on variables right and then you will get all the variables that are available in your in this current bot right you can just do existing email so i'm going to delete this block for now let's see how this works and if you're able to fetch the information from a google sheet i'm going to publish this and go back to the bot refresh it again and now we are testing for how to fetch information from a google sheet right let's say you have orders from customers that you're uh, storing in a google sheet and you want to see if the customer has ordered a specific item and you're supporting them through the bot automatically this is a great use case to do so let me enter the name as kishore so that i can get that specific email from the google sheet i've entered the name i'm going to enter email because we did not uh, check this before getting the email so i'm going to enter random at email.com as a dummy email so that we know that this doesn't uh, pull that up now as you can see we have received back the actual email from here now you can add a validation saying if the user entered him e email which is random at email.com if it matches with hk at domain.com right all of that you, you should be able to validate the customer this is how you can do automatic validation of customers and then actually fetch the order information if you're building a conversational bot if you learned something something new here uh, drop a like below and consider subscribing to the channel because this channel is all about building stuff without coding and uh, the link to sign up for typebot is in the description below see you in another video peace